if you are searching up individual products to find best sellers you might be doing your product research wrong in today's video i want to share with you my specific strategy that allows me to find multiple best selling products in different micro niches that can convert well in sales for me and for you as well we're going to go into this system so you can understand how to create a list of best selling products that are in multiple micro niches that can help you be more focused every day you design products for your etsy business i want to share this all with you coming up next All right, so one of the main things we're definitely going to do is jump into Etsy. And instead of us, you know, just searching up a specific micro niche, we want to stay broad in regards to what we're searching because we want to find micro niches from best selling shops and see what they are selling that can inform us about what we need to be selling. So, for instance, here, let's just say if I am selling a t shirt, let's just search up t shirts, for instance, here, a very easy category to get into. So, when I search up t shirts, obviously, there's millions of t shirts being sold. But I don't want to look at those individual listings. I want to find top shops that are selling these type of t-shirts. And what people typically do is that they go on Etsy, just like how we did here, and they try to go find best sellers and popular nows. And again, that is a strategy that can be great for you. But one of the things that we're missing is the opportunity to find these micro niches that we may not have even seen if we don't do this system that I'm talking about today. So, yes, there's a lot of popular nows, best selling products, which are representing micro niches that could be flooded with multiple best selling products here. So instead of us just looking at this list to find these popular now products, what I like to do is I like to go and find top shops that meet my criteria. And my criteria is a top shop that has received at least 10,000 sales and have done so in the last three years and is selling this specific category of product I want to sell. And if I can find anything that beats that criteria, then that is a winning shop. I can learn a lot from and start finding these golden micro niches. Now that's all great, but how can we actually do that? Well, I'm going to utilize the Everbe tool here. I'll go into product analytics. And instead of us looking at the listing here, I want to go all the way over to the right hand side. And this is where Everbe give us some amazing data to make the best decision in regards to what shops to target. Again, we're trying to find top shops that have generated at least 10,000 sales in the last three years now again the tool that we're going to use to find this top shop is ever be and if you have not started with ever be yet this is an amazing tool to help you go beyond just the best sellers badge we see on etsy and really see the data that can help us drive our decision making we can see how many shops receive sales in the past 30 days and how many sales they receive in a lifetime of the listing and this really gives us further indication in regards to what type of products we need to create ever be was so kind to give my audience a discount code to utilize their premium version version of their software and you can actually get started for free down below as well i make sure to leave all the details along with that discount code in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your on demand business all right so from here we're going to look at three areas in regards to data number one we're going to look at the total sales here to make sure they have reached over 10,000 sales number two we're going to look at the age of the listing here which we can go all the way over to this side here look at the age of the listing which i made just a little bit smaller for us to see so i want to make sure they have been around no longer than three years so if i can find one that's been around for 12 months and make 10,000 sales that's a winning shop and obviously i need to make sure that they're selling in my category which our case today is clothing so i don't want to focus on a digital shop because again we're focusing on print on demand today with a t-shirt so i I want to find products that are resembling exactly what I'm selling here. So I definitely want to focus on that. So again, our criteria, make sure it's no older than three years. Make sure it's in my particular category and make sure it is a top shop that, ha that has received at least 10,000 sales in the lifetime of the shop being visible. We want to make sure that we are targeting shops that actually have been around. If they've been around for like seven, eight years, then they may have had their majority of their sales made in you know their first time listing and eight years ago or seven years ago. But if I can find a shop that's been around for three years, two years, a year six months and gaining sales i know that whatever sales they're getting is tied to the listings they are listing currently which are those micro niches that could be amazing sales for us today so that being said let's go here and try to find some shops that meet our criteria now what i like to filter first before i go to any other filter 
is filter shop age. Now you might say, why are we filtering shop age first and not total sales? Because as you can see here, if I filter total sales here, we get 151 months. Great, they made almost 300,000 sales, but it took them 151 months to do that. Again, they could be making sales today, but majority of their sales could have been made in the early parts of their shop being listed. So that's why I don't like to filter from shop you know, sales first. I rather would filter from this area here, shop age, because as you can see here, these shops here, again, this one, nine months old, received almost 7,000 sales. That's a lot of sales to receive in a year's time. If every shirt that was sold was, you know, they gained a $5 profit that we can see here. This shop could have made $33,000 or so in just nine months alone. And a little side note too, just because they say nine months don't necessarily mean they listed their first product nine months ago. I'm quite sure many of us who are watching created a shop but haven't really started listing on that shop until maybe a month or so down the road so again this is a win-win for us it's an early shop could be even earlier when they listed products but they also receive a lot of sales in that time being listed so this is a shop yes now yes is it ten thousand sales no but is it close to it then yes right that that metric i provided is just a guideline in regards to what things to focus on and which ones to stay away from now here is a great example of one that meets our criteria specifically again it is in our category which is clothing but as you can see here this shop within 11 months has received about 16,000 sales now again if they're primarily selling t-shirts and they're gaining let's just say a five dollar profit in regards to that particular product category being sold, that's over $80,000 they have received just in the 11 months of being a shop. And again, as we know, just because you open up a shop doesn't mean that's when you actually started listing products. So this could have been gained in eight, seven, maybe nine months of really truly being a shop that's listing products. There's something about this shop that's doing well that we need to learn from and incorporate those micro niches into our product category as well so what i would do open up the shop and a different tab here and look at this a little bit further as time go on now here is a quick example of a shop that's been around for just 33 months but as you can see here it has received 185,000 sales that lifetime of the listing of the shop which is just amazing and really beats out anyone who say you really can't make sales with shirts because again we see this person has done it here obviously it may take a little bit more work as opposed to a different product category but the fact here is that selling t-shirts is still something that can be volatile on etsy and this is the process that i would do just not for one shop but honestly for 10 15 20 shops in my category because from there i want to analyze every single listing in this top shop to create for me a high potential product list where we're only focusing on the listings that generated them sales so that being said we want to go into the shop itself to analyze all of their shop listings here but if we do want to see some additional data from ever be again it meets our criteria right 33 months old again 185,000 products sold and they have done this with just over a thousand listings not bad at all now we can click this button here where it says analyze shop listings and what this would do is they'll go to the main shop itself and it would take only the best of the best listings here which is exactly what we want to do because we only want to target products that has generated sales for this shop again we all a thousand products are not selling but we definitely want to identify the top designs that's going to show us the micro niches they have created for so that being said we can go into total sales and we can actually change this metric to show us the highest and lowest and the reason for this is that my additional criteria for seeing the best selling products here that i want to make sure that i don't research anything that's less than 20 sales lifetime of the listing now as you can see here it drops down to 19 very quickly in regards to total sales as you can see here all of the listings above are generating a tons of sales for this shop here but as you can see again out of the thousand listings that's being sold there's only a couple of products here that is generating majority of the sales for this shop and this is where the money is to be made because i want to understand what is the design but also what is the micro niche that is being designed for that i can start creating some products as well so again my criteria is that the bottom floor is nothing less than 20 if it goes less than 20 then i'm not going to research that but again 34 is great 38 is great and as we can see the top of the listing here we can see over 3,000 sales for this listing now we can see the micro niches that we can create for in the 
designed for. Of course, we need to be mindful of trademark designs and trademark phrases. But with that in mind, we can see these micro niches are doing well. Again, I'm not concerned about design right now. All I want to see is what is the micro niche that's being sold because I can redesign this in my own unique way. Here we can go with the American sunflower niche here and redesign that in a unique way. We can explore this micro niche category a little bit more, whatever be to see if there is sales potential here, over 900 sales in the lifetime of a listing. So we know that this is a micro niche that people really enjoy. That is worth exploring a little bit further, whatever be. Go down a little bit further here. We can see this teacher shirt. I love you all class dismissed, which is great for the end of the year, which has generated a lot of sales here. But again, we can go into the micro niche of end of the year t-shirts for teachers. Again, that may not have been a micro niche we have thought about, right? Typically it's just teacher shirt, but going in specifically for the micro niche, we can start creating things for the last day of school or end of the year shirt for teachers. Again, this allows us to see the micro niches that are selling well for these shops that we may not have even realized was available. And again, once you do this for 10, 15, 20 shops, you're able to actually export this list over into a spreadsheet, either with Google or Microsoft Excel, whatever you have here. And you could actually export this out into a Google Sheet and remove all the things from your listing that don't meet the criteria. That means less than 20 sales. It can be moved off my list. And now I'm only left with the top of the top listings for those 10 to 15 shops that if you do this correctly, you can wind up having over 3,000 top best-selling designs in a niches you can create for and every day you're going in and creating based upon your list of products you have created now if you're new to print on demand or any type of thing selling on etsy you're not sure how to get started check out my link down below it is my free course where i share with you exactly how to get started selling products on etsy where you're able to create this as a real business that you can start making money on etsy if you want to check out that course then click the link down below and if you want to learn more about how to make income online then click this next video here and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next tip to help you start selling well on Etsy. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.